So, today is very auspicious day. Thakur Mokshubi now is birthday. Here is the picture of Thakur on Satchidananda Mokshubi now. He was one of the acharyas of this disciple succession from Krishna. We have got a succession table from Krishna, genealogical table. There are two kinds of genealogical tables. One by the semina, uh, father, his son, his son, like that. That is material genealogical table. And there is one spiritual genealogical table, disciplic succession. Just like Krishna, Krishna, the original father, Supreme Personality of Godhead, he spoke the Vedic knowledge to Brahma, Lord Brahma. He spoke to Narada. Narada spoke to Vyas. Vyas spoke to Madhyacharya. So in this disciple succession, Lord Chaitanya from Lord Chaitanya, the six Goswamis, and similarly coming down, down, Bhaktivinoda Thakur, then Gold Siddharth Bhavaji Maharaj, then my spiritual master, then we are next generation, my disciple. So there is a disciplic succession. And the acharyas, their authority. Our process of knowledge is very simple. We take it from the authority. We don't speculate. Uh, speculation will not help us to come to the real knowledge. It's like uh, when we are in difficulty, in legal implication, we go to some authority, lawyer. Uh, when we are diseased, we go to a physician, the authority. Uh, there is no use speculation. Suppose I am in difficulty in some legal implication, I simply speculate, I shall be free in this way and that way. That will not help. We have to go to the lawyer who knows things and he gives us instruction that you do like this, then we will be free. Similarly, when you are diseased, if I speculate at home, that my disease will be cured in this way and that way. No, that is useless. You go to an authorized physician and he will give you a nice prescription and you will be cured. That is the process of knowledge. But at the modern age, people think that I am free, I am independent, and I can make my own solution. That is Askelda. That's not good. Now, John, when he was talking with Krishna as friend, but when he saw that there was no solution talking like this, he surrendered to Krishna. He said, Shishasti hum, aham, my myself. I uh, surrender unto you as your disciple. Shishasti hum sadhivam prapannam. Prapannam means surrender. 
So that is the Vedic injunction. That if you want to know transcendental knowledge or science, transcendental means beyond the scope of your direct perception. So spiritual knowledge is beyond the scope of our sense uh, speculation, beyond the scope. It's like when a soul, a spiritual spark only, leaves this body, you cannot see that all. If it's the class of man, they speculate. There may be a soul, there may not be soul. Or the bodily function was going like this, now it is stopped, the blood corpuscles now cease, it is no more red, it is white, therefore life has... These are speculations. This is not actual knowledge. Uh, Actual knowledge he get from the authority, Krishna. He says, Tatha dehantaram prati dhira sattva namayati. <clears throat> Just like the soul is passing through different stages. Dehinas means jatha dehi. Deha, deha means his body. Asmin Dehe, in this body, there is Dehi. Dehi means who is the owner of this body. That is so. That is passing through childhood, boyhood, babyhood, youthhood, old age. Uh, everyone, you can perceive that you are a child, you are a baby, you are a boy. Now you are young man or old man. So you are there. So as you are passing through different types of bodies, similarly, when you give up this body, you accept another body. What is the division? Tathadehantram prati dhiras tattanai muniyati. There is no question of becoming astonished of transmigration of the cells soul takes place. The vivid example is there. Simply you require little intelligence. That intelligence is developed uh, through the instruction of acharya. Uh, therefore, Vedic injunction is not to acquire knowledge by speculation. That is useless. Uh, Atatati Deva Padam Vijatam Janati Tattam Prasad Lishan Grita Evai Lachana Ekopi Chirang Bichin Chirang Bichin Chirang Main For thousands of years you can speculate. You cannot understand what is God. That is not possible. But if you receive knowledge, from the devotee, he can deliver. Ah. Therefore, Vedic injunction is that Tadvigyana ah. in order to understand Tadvigyana, Vigyan means science. If you want to know the transcendental science, then you must approach a guru. That began our thumb. In order to, if you are at all interested to understand the spiritual science, that began our thumb. Guru meva avirache. You must approach guru. Guru means this disciple is success. As I explained. So, Bhakti Vinat Thakur is an ideal guru. Uh, he was not a sannyasi, 
किंवा गृहस्थ हाऊस होल्डर लिव्हिंग विथ फॅमिली वाईफ चिल्ड्रन स्टील लिव्ह एज गुरु सो एनी वन कॅन बिकम गुरु नॉट दॅट ए सन्यासी कॅन बिकम गुरु ए हाऊस होल्डर ऑल्सो कॅन बिकम गुरु प्रोव्हायडेड ही नोज दि सायन चैतन्य महाप्रू वेन यू आर टॉकिंग विथ रामानंद राय चैतन्य महाप्रू एज ए सन्यासी व्हेरी हायली बॉर्न इन ए ब्राह्मीण फॅमिली व्हेरी लार्ड ए स्कॉलर सो यू आर टॉकिंग विथ रामानंद राय ए गृहस्थ गव्हर्नर मेड्रास and he was questioning and ramanand rai was answering that means he was taking the part of guru and chaitanya mahaprabhu was taking the part of a disciple so he was hesitating ramanand rai he thought himself that i am a griyasta i am not even a brahmin besides that i am dealing in material affairs i am governor politics then chaitanya mahaprabhu is a sanyasi born of a high class brahmin family so it does not look well that i shall teach him so he was hesitating chaitanya mahaprabhu said do no, why you are hesitating uh, he said किंवा विप्र किंवा शूद्र नॅसी कॅने नॉय जेही कृष्ण तत्व बेता सही गुरु होय ही से डोंट एजिटेड आय दर वन वे बिकम ए ब्राह्मीण ऑर वन वे बिकम ए शूद्र किंवा विप्र किंवा शूद्र विप्र मीन्स ब्राह्मीण अँड शूद्र शूद्र इज द फोर्थ ग्रेट ह्युमॅन बिंग ब्राह्मीण इज द फर्स्ट वे तर किंवा विप्र किंवा शुद्ध ही मेन ए फर्स्ट वे ह्युमॅन बिंग ऑर द लोएस्ट वे ह्युमॅन बिंग ऑर यू मे बिकम ए सन्यासी ऑर ए गृहस्थ इट इज नॉट मॅट एनी वन हू नोज द सायन्स ऑफ कृष्ण ही कॅन बिकम ए गुरु दिस इज द भारत बिकॉज spiritual science does not belong to the bodily platform it is on the spiritual platform oh, it is very nice just like when you go to a lawyer or to a engineer or to a physician you do, do, do not inquire whether he is a brahmin or shudra simply you have to know whether he is a lawyer that's all Well, he is a physician, actually. Uh, if he knows the medical science, he may be a Brahmin, he may be a Sudra, he may be a Sannasi, he may be a householder. It doesn't matter. Your business is with a physician, with a lawyer. Similarly, your business is to understand Krishna. So anyone who knows Krishna perfectly, he have to go there ah tad vigyan artham sa guru meva vigachen he it is bathing injection is not that you have to approach a sannyasi or a grihastha or a uh, indian or american no guru a guru means who knows the science of krishna ah so this bhakti vinod thakur was grihastha Many responsible officer, magistrate, uh, and he was so exalted that he would come from his office generally at five o'clock, then take his uh, supper and immediately go to bed. Immediate. Uh, they had. Seven o'clock in the evening, he goes to bed, 
and he wakes up at twelve o'clock. So suppose he goes to bed at seven o'clock in the evening and wakes up at twelve o'clock at nine, it is sufficiently five hours. Uh, one should not sleep more than five to six hours. Minimize as far as possible. The Goswamis used to sleep not more than one and a half hour or two hours. Uh, sleeping is not very important thing. Even uh, big politicians, they used to sleep for two hours. So especially in spiritual life, they should minify as far as possible eating, sleeping, mating, defending. Minimize. Gradually it comes to meal. Raghunath Dhar Goswami, he was eating uh, only a little piece of butter every alternate days, not daily. So this Bhaktivinoda Thakur regularly, he was coming from his office and after taking his supper immediately goes to bed and wake up at twelve o'clock and he used to write books. He wrote, he left behind him about one hundred books. And he uh, excavated the birthplace of Lord Chaitanya, organized how to develop that birth site, Mayapur. He had so many visitors. He used to go to preach about Chaitanya's philosophy. Uh, he used to send books to foreign countries. In 1896 he attempted to send life and precepts of Lord Chaitanya in the McGill University in Montreal. Uh, so he was busy, Acharya. Uh, so one has to adjust things. Not that because I am Grihastha, householder, I cannot become a preacher. <coughs> it is the business, it is business of the sannyasi or brahmachari. No, it is the business of everyone. The whole world is suffering for want of knowledge. Ah, the present civilization is animal civilization. They do not know anything beyond eating, sleeping, mating, and depending. That's all. This is animal civilization. Oh. The animal does not know beyond these four principles of life eating, sleeping, mating, and depending. That's all. No, human life is meant for something else. What I am? What is God? What is my relation with God? What is this material world? Why I am here? Where I have to go next? So many things. One has to learn. Athatam Brahma Jigyasa. This is human life. Not that eat and sleep and have sex life and die somewhere like cats and dogs. Therefore, there is need of Acharyas, teachers for propagating spiritual knowledge, Krishna consciousness. Bhakti Mirthaka was, although he was a Grihastha, householder, government officer, uh, magistrate, but he was Acharya. So from his dealings, from his life, we should learn how one can become a preacher in any stage of life. It doesn't matter what he is. Oh. There was one incident, oh. very interesting. When he was magistrate in Jagannath Puri, the system is Jagannath Temple is a very big establishment uh, in the temple, 
फिफ्टी सिक्स टाइम डेली भोग इज ऑफर एंड यूल फाइंड इन दी टेम्पल ऑल एज एट लीस्ट फाइव हंड्रेड टू वन थाउजेंड पीपुल गैदर एंड दे कम फ्रॉम आउट साइड एंड प्रसाद इज रेडी इफ यू गो एंड आस्ट इन दी जगन्नाथ टेम्पल दैट वी आर वन हंड्रेड मैन कम फ्रॉम आउट साइड वी वॉन्ट प्रसाद येस इमीजिएटली रेडी सो इट इज अूज टेम्पल This is one temple, but there are many other thousands of temples in India where prasad distributed. Now it is minimized by our present government. They think that it is uh, unnecessary expenditure. They are minimizing, but not unnecessary expenditure. They do not understand. Uh, formerly in India. There was no necessity of hotel. Anyone goes anywhere, even in a village. Ah, uh, he goes to a temple. The prasad is ready. There is no need of going to a hotel. You pay or don't pay. If you say that I want little prasad, yes, take it. That is the system. Still, there is an Asadha temple in Rajasthan. Uh, you you pay two annas only. Uh, two annas means one cent. You get some choice prasad for two months. All very nice prasad. Still, the prasad distribution in temple is long standing. Uh, you say the bhakti mein tha ko the jagannath temple temple. Is managed by a body, and it is the custom that the uh, local magistrate of the district he becomes the president or manager. So Bhakti Vinod Thakur was manager in that sense because he was magistrate. Uh, the managing committee was being presided by him. So there was a complaint. Oh, in Orissa, this Jagannath Temple is situated in Orissa. Who's called? Who's called? This uh, state was originally belonged to Dhruva Maharaj. His son's name was Who's called? Maharaj Who's called? Anyway, so this Who's called? There was a pseudo yogi. Uh, he declared himself that just like you will find nowadays also, there are so many rascals declaring that I am incarnation of God, and they know some mystic powers, play some jugglery, and foolish people take them or he is God. So they are appeared ones, like such pseudo God, uh, Vishnu. Uh, in a village of Orissa, and he was dancing rasa dance, and police people were sending their daughters and wives to dance with him. There were so many. Not only that, the people are so foolish; they do not know. They want to be cheated, and these cheaters come. He declared that I am. God, I am Vishnu. Uh, so there were same men also. They took objection. What is this nonsense? This is man is dancing with uh, ladies and gentlemen and uh, girls. So they uh, filed a complaint. At that time, it was British rule. The complaint to the governor or the commissioner, very high officer. The commissioner knew that Bhakti Vinod Thakur, his name was Kedarnath Dutt. <coughs> Dutt, Kedarnath Dutt, his household name. So, the commissioner of the division, he knew that Kedarnath Dutt is a religious man, 
and his magistrate in charge. So he handed over the case for inquiry. What is this complaint? You please inquire and do the needful. <coughs> so he was a pure devotee and he understood that this rascal is a bogus man, cheating people. I must inquire. So he went to the village in plain dress with some constables, police constables. They were also in plain dress. And as soon as he approached that rascal yogi, he said, Oh, you are Kedarnath Dattva. So, very nice. You are, I shall make you king of India. Please don't try to uh, bother me. Because he could know that he has come to inquire about my Ras Leela. <coughs> so, Bhaktivinoda Thakur, first of all, said, Sir, you are such a great yogi. Why you are in the village? Why don't you go to Jagannath Puri? There is temple, and Lord Jagannath is there. Better you go there and see the Lord and be happy. Why you are in this village? <coughs> oh, Jagannath, ah, that is made of wood. I am personally the Supreme Lord. <coughs> that is made of wood. Oh, then Bhakti Mathakur, he was a devote, he became fire. <laughs> he was insulting. Achi siladhi gurusu naramati. According to Shastra, if somebody thinks, just like here is Diti, if somebody thinks, oh, it is made of stone, oh. it is stone to the eyes of the non devotee but it is personally, supreme personality of God to the devotees. It requires the eyes to see. So devotee sees in a different angle of vision. Just like Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, when he entered Jagannath temple, immediately he fainted. Oh, here is my Lord. And the non-devotee is saying it is wood, a lump of wood. Therefore, to the non-devotee, he remains always an wood, but to the devotee, he speaks. That is the difference. churita bhakti bilochane. If God is everything, why wood? Through wood and stone, God cannot manifest. If God is everything, according to Mahamad philosophy, that's a fact. Huh? God, omnipotent, He can express Himself even through wood and stone. That is God's omnipotence. That is God's omnipotence. Not that God is unable to express Himself through wood and stone. Then how is omnipotent? Omnipotent means His potency can be expressed through anything. Uh, because anything, everything is the expansion of God's energy. Parasya Brahmana Shakti, Tathaiva Akhilam Jagat, the whole world is manifestation of different energies of God. Therefore, just like through the energy of electricity, the electric powerhouse, although far, far away from this place, but expressing, there is electricity. Uh, <coughs> through this uh, glass, through this wire, uh, the power can be expressed. There is a process. So Bhaktivinoda Thakur become very much, uh, because a devotee <coughs> cannot tolerate blaspheming another devotee or God. So as soon as he said that, why shall I go to Jagannath Puri to see the wooden Jagannath? I am personally Vishnu. 
doing a tackle immediately hard at his college table. Arrest him. Arrest this rascal. So he was arrested. And when he was arrested, he had some yogic mystic power. Uh, all the constables, Bhaktivinoda Thakur, and his family members become <coughs> affected with high fever. Uh, and then five degrees fever. So when he came back, his wife became very much disturbed that he arrested Vishnu. And we are all going to die. We have got now high fever. Bhaktivedha replies, Yes, let us all die, but this rascal must be punished. This is the view of pure devotee. So he was put into the custody. And there was a date fixed for his trial. And all these days, Bhaktivedanta Thakur himself and his family especially, they are suffering from high fever. Maybe that yogi was planning to kill all the whole family, but it was going on as fever. So on the trial day, Bhaktivedanta Thakur, Kidanath Dhaktar, when he came to the bench, the man was presented, the so-called yogi, and he had big, big hairs. So Bhaktivinoda Thakur ordered that bring one barber and cut his hair. So no barber dared. Uh, the barber thought, no, he is Lord Vishnu, he said, you are fine. So he is suffering from fever, so I shall also die. So Bhaktivar Thakur ordered, give me the scissors, I will cut. <laughs> so he cut his hair and ordered him to be put into jail for six months. And in the jail that Vishnu incarnation managed to take some poison and he died. So this is one of the incidents there are many incidences. You are very a strong man. He punished many pandas in the teeth house who exploit visitors. Oh. So, man. this is the position of devotee. Oh. In spite of his becoming a responsible magistrate, oh. A householder, still he was acharya. So we have to follow the acharya. If we at all, if we are at all interested in spiritual science, then we must follow the Vedic instruction, tadvijnana, samsa, guru meva, avigache. We must approach. You cannot have spiritual knowledge simply by speculating. Impossible. Simply waste of time. So my he came along. You must go to the and the Bhagavad Gita therefore it is recommended. Acharju Pasanam. Acharju Pasana. Not only worshipping the Lord, but also the Acharj. Chaitanya Mahapuru says, Guru Krishna Kripaya Pai Bhakti Lata Bhi. Guru, Acharya, and Krishna, one should seek favor of both of them. Not that I am now seeking favor of Krishna. What is the use of Guru and Acharya? No. You cannot overlap Acharya and go to Krishna. That is not possible. Krishna is not accepted. Just like if you want to see a big man, you should go to his secretary, to his orderly, doorkeeper. Uh, similarly, our process is acharya upasanam. Go through the acharya. 
that is the injunction of the Vedas. Tarka Pratishya. If you want to enter into the spiritual world, you, you cannot get through simply by arguments. Because there is no limit of argument. I place my argument in one way. Another man who is better arguer, he places his argument in a different way. So if you simply go on arguing, it is not possible. Tarko apratishtha. It will never help you. Argument. Suto vivinna. If you think that I shall read scriptures and I shall understand God. No, that is also not possible. Sutta vivinna. Scriptures are also different. Because scriptures are made according to, to time, circumstances, people, just like Bible. Bible, Lord Jesus Christ preached in the desert, Jerusalem, or why it is. The people were not so advanced, therefore his first instruction is thou shalt not kill. That means they are very much engaged in killing affairs. Otherwise, why is this in Islam? And actually it so happened that they killed Jesus Christ. So that society was not very enlightened society. So scripture for a society which is not very enlightened and scripture for a society which is very enlightened must be different. So that society was not very enlightened society. So scripture for a society which is not very enlightened and scripture for a society which is very enlightened must be different. Just like a dictionary for the schoolboy, a pocket dictionary, and for a college student, international, big speech. Both of them are dictionaries. But the small pocket dictionary is not equal to the big dictionary because it is different made for different classes of men. So scriptures are made according to different classes of men. There are three classes of men, first class, second class and third class. The third class man cannot understand the philosophy and the scripture and injection of the first class man. That is not possible. Higher mathematics cannot be understood by the small school boys who are simply trying to understand two plus two equal to four. But two plus two equal to four is equally good to the higher mathematics student. But still, higher mathematics and lower mathematics is different. Therefore, it is said, Sutayo Bhivinna. The scriptures are different. So, if you simply try to understand what is God by reading scriptures, you cannot achieve. You must approach a guru. Just like a medical book, it can be available in the market. If you purchase one medical book and study, you become doctor. That is not possible. You must hear the medical book from a medical man in the college, medical college. Then you will be qualified. And if you say, sir, I have read all the medical books, recognize me as a medical practitioner. No, that will be not. The Sutayo Vibhinna scriptures are different. Arguments, that is also not helpful. One man may argue better than me. Then philosophy. Uh, the philosophy, it is said, naso muni matangra vinna. One philosopher is differing from another philosopher. Just now, today, Samsung has purchased one book 
about different philosophers. So that you also cannot ascertain what is truth. Therefore, Shastra says, dharmasya tattang nihitam guhayam. The truth is very confidential. Ah. So if you want to know that truth, mahajana jena gata sapantha, you should have to follow the great acharyas, then you will understand. Oh. Therefore acharya upasana is essential. Oh. Acharya upasana is very essential. In all the Vedic Shastra, the injunction is there. Tadvijyanatham sa guru meva avijatshet surutriyam brahmanistham tasmad gurum prapaddita jignasu se uttamam. Anyone who is inquisitive to understand higher truth, he must uh, surrender to guru. Tasmat gurum prapaddeta jignasu sreya uttavam. One who is inquisitive, who is uh, now inquiring about uh, transcendental subject matter. Tad vidhi panipati na pripasne na sevaya. So all these shastras says in our Vaishnava uh, shastra also, Rupa Goswami says, Ado Gudbhasram, in the first beginning he must take shelter of a bona fide guru. So, this Bhakti Vinod Thakur's birthday we should adore, we should worship, because in the modern age uh, he uh, reintroduced the disciplic succession. From Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, 500 years ago, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu taught this philosophy, but within 200 years, because this material world is so mad that whatever you, you introduce in due course of time, it will deteriorate. You make a nice house, but after 100 years, 200 years, or nowadays, even after fifty years, it becomes dilapidated. That is the nature's law, kala. Time will destroy everything. That British Empire, such a big vast empire. Now it is finished. The kala, the time is everything met. Finished. That is material. Anything material. It has but it has growth, it has got some opulence, and then dwindling, then finish. Oh. That is the uh, way of material. So we are interested in spiritual subject matter. Uh, therefore the process is adu gudbhasram. One has to uh, accept a bona fide spiritual master. That is our process. Uh, without accepting a bona fide spiritual master, we cannot make any progress. It is impossible. So Bhaktivar Thakur happens to be Acharyas, one of the Acharyas, and he has left behind him many books. Chaitanya Sikhamita, Jaiva Dharma, uh, these are very important books. They are in Bengali, uh, in Sanskrit, uh, and many songs. Uh, and he has prepared many books of song. Uh, the the song, "Ei Nam Gai Gura Chand Madhu." That is Bhakti Nathakur song. So we are trying to present Bhakti Nathakur's books also in English translation. Gradually we will get it. Uh, so our uh, adoration, our worship, 
to Bhaktivinoda Thakur today uh, because he may bless us to make peacefully progress in Krishna consciousness. Uh, Acharya Upasana simply by the blessings of Acharyas we can make very rapid progress. Vedeshu dullava adu lava ato bhakto. If you just sa prasad ad bhagavad prasad, we sing every day. By the mercy of the spiritual master, our charge, we immediately get the blessings of Lord. Immediately. Just sa prasad ad, just sa means ooze, prasad ad, benediction. By the benediction of the spiritual master. Just sa prasad ad, bhagavad prasad. If spiritual master, acharya, is pleased, then you should know that Krishna is also pleased. You should know too. This is not very difficult. Just like you are working in office, if your immediate officer, boss, is pleased, that means the proprietor of the farm, he is also pleased. Although you do not see uh, this is fact. In your immediate uh, boss, if he is pleased. Similarly, uh, we, our business, the spiritual line is Guru Krishna Kripa. We have to first receive the uh, merciful benediction from the Acharya, and then Krishna will be pleased and he will also give his blessing. Madhvakta, there is a person in Srimad Bhagavan. Madhvakta puja bhadika. Uh, he says, Krishna says that if anyone worships me directly and if anyone worships me through the acharya, he is better devotee. Who is coming to me through acharya? Madhvakta puja bhadika. Uh, so, our this Vaishnava uh, philosophy process is uh, go through the achat, uh, servant of the servant of the servant. We should try to become servant of the servant. Gopi bhattu padakamalayu daso dasanu daso. Daso dasanu daso. We should not approach the Supreme Personality of Godhead directly. And that is not good. That is not good. In the Vedic injunction also it is said, Jasya Devi Parabhakti Jatha Devi Tatha Guru. If one got unflinching faith in the Supreme Personality of Godhead, Jatha Devi, and similar faith in Guru, of course we must make Guru bona fide. Uh, then it is disciplic succession. Uh, and that is also not very difficult to select who is bona fide guru. Uh, bona fide guru means he presents himself uh, as servant of God. He does not pose himself falsely that I am God. This is bona fide. Uh, it is not difficult to find out bona fide. This is the test. If anyone says that I am Guru, I am God, then he cannot be Guru because he has no knowledge how he is God. But he can cheat some people. That is different. Uh, he can cheat all people for some time and some people for all time, but not all people for all time. That is not possible. So these kinds of guru who poses themselves that I am God, he is a false guru. The bona fide guru will say that I am servant of the servant of the servant of Krishna or God. Servant of <coughs> That is the business of guru. He uh, serves Krishna as Krishna desires. That is his business. That is also not very difficult. Krishna says, 
कृष्ण डिजायर सर्व धनमान परिचर्ज मामी गंग सरलंग मजरी की बात और आधार जस्ट सरेंडर एंड टू मी एंड आई गिव यू प्रोटेक्शन कृष्ण से तो गुरु बिजनेस इज दैट यू सिंपली सरेंडर टू कृष्ण वॉट इज द डिफिकल्टी सिंपली रिपीट दी सेम थिंग नॉट फॉर हिमसेल्फ बट फॉर कृष्ण इज बोला बाई गुरु सो आवर दिस कृष्ण कॉन्सियसनेस मूवमेंट इज वेरी बोला फाय बिकॉज वी से सेम थिंग एज कृष्ण से वी डोंट मेक एनी एडिशन ऑल्टरेशन नॉट लाइक बिग स्कॉलर्स लाइक इट इज नॉट टू कृष्ण कृष्ण से इज मन मना भव मत भक्त मत जाजी मांग नमस्कुरु एंड इज कॉल एर इंटरप्रेट इट इज नॉट टू कृष्ण जैसी पुलिस ने कृष्ण डायरेक्टली सेज एंड टू मे ही सेज नॉट टू कृष्ण मिस लीजिए सच मिस लीजिंग गुरु विल नॉट हेल्प दैट फॉर टू फाइंड आउट ए बोनाफाइड गुरु मीन्स दैट ही डज नॉट चेंज the words of krishna so that is his position he places everything as it is and he has understood thoroughly the sign ah jigyasu se uttam guru what is the symptom of guru tasmat gurum prabhadeta jigyasu se uttam those who are inquisitive to understand her scientific knowledge uttam uttam means higher uttam madham adham there are three words uh, first class second class third class so uh, spiritual knowledge is uttam anyone who is inquisitive to understand first class knowledge he requires to go to a guru those who are interested in third class knowledge they do not require any guru third class knowledge means animal knowledge how to eat how to sleep how to make arrangement for eating how to make arrangement for sleeping that is third class knowledge because the animal also try for this kind of knowledge how to eat how to sleep therefore this kind of knowledge is third class knowledge uh, and second class knowledge is what i am uh, athat brahma jigyasa the vidant that is second class knowledge and first class knowledge when he actually understands what he is he is eternal servant of krishna and in he is in service in the service of the lord that is first class knowledge uh, and therefore as soon as he comes to the first class knowledge platform he becomes happy brahma bhuta prasanna atma na sochati na kaang samas sarveshu bhuteshu mad bhakti labati para uh, so after being liberated from the material concept of life by the blessings of krishna and guru one comes to the platform of first class knowledge uh, where he engages himself directly in the service of the lord that is first class knowledge uh, first class knowledge means beyond liberation uh, second class knowledge is trying for liberation third class knowledge means in bondage like animal the animal they are bound up by the particular type of body and has no i mean to say possibility of becoming liberated that is animal life but human life is better than animal life because he if he like he can make himself liberated from these bondage of material body that is the facility oh, he can understand 
himself, what he is. He can understand what is God. He can understand the relationship between God and himself. He can understand what is this material world. <coughs> because there are thousands of books of knowledge. Take it for Bhagavad Gita. Everything is there. And it is meant for human beings, not for the cats and dogs. Cats and dogs cannot understand. Oh. But a human being can understand. So our this Krishna consciousness movement is to enlighten people to utilize his very nice life, human form of life. Oh. Utilize it properly. To utilize it properly means to so, uh, revive his dormant Krishna consciousness. The Krishna consciousness or God consciousness is there already. It is developed in human form of life. But it is now covered because due to our association with this material world or uh, unlimited years background. We are coming through different species of life. Millions and millions of years passed away. Suppose I was a tree, sometimes I was standing up for 10,000 years in one place. We have passed through. That's a fact. That is evolution. Now we have got the opportunity of light. If you don't use these opportune moments, and again go back to the cycle of evolutionary process. There is Anavala Khan in Saura. So these are great signs. Unfortunately, there is no opportunity for the people to study these signs in the school, colleges, and universities. Uh, they are simply teaching people that you work hard and gratify your sense. That's all. Uh, Therefore, a section, a uh, younger section, they have been disgusted. Uh, they, they, they have refused to cooperate with the social society on account of this disappointing education. And it will increase. Because this sort of education cannot give peace or prosperity to the people. Problems are increasing. Uh, therefore our request is that if you want to decrease or completely finish all the problems of life, take to Krishna consciousness in the process of disciplic succession and you will be all happy. Thank you.